All right, today I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the Ubiquity Unify video software. The software is to be used with the Ubiquity uh, Unify video security cameras. You can, Ubiquity offers this uh, software in an appliance which you can buy from them. Uh, they call it the NVR, it's a network video recorder. Uh, it's a little, you know, small computer, but uh, I prefer to install this on my own machine with Linux. Um, if you watch my previous videos, I you know, quickly show you how to do that. Just download Ubuntu, get it on a computer, run a couple commands, and you have the software installed. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of um, of it here. So when uh, after you install it, it's going to detect any cameras that are currently on the network and do a quick setup. Uh, like time, date, name, login, and then it will detect the cameras and ask you to uh, manage them. Once you manage them, uh, it will give you a recovery password for the cameras. And then after you adopt them, it's called adopting them, you'll see them in this list here. Green obviously means good. Um, if you have an unmanaged camera, it will also be uh, amber here, like an amber color and also be listed in the unmanaged tab. But let's just see what we have here first in terms of the hardware. So this is the uh, uh, the G3 uh, camera uh, and it's currently being powered. Oh, it's like some thunderstorm is gonna happen here soon. It's gonna be, it's powered over, um, uh, this is powered using, this is powered using uh, PoE. So once it's set up, you can name it, uh, It'll obviously grab DHCP off the network, give you a bit of information on uh, the state, recording, and recording type. So if I click on this, you'll see if I come over here, it'll give me a little more details about the uptime connected time. That's what I forgot. The model name was the UVC G3. It's a 1080p indoor and outdoor camera. Um, you can see here, uh, I can preview the video that's happening right now. Uh, and there's some settings here. I'm not gonna go through each, but you can see there's video settings. Uh, you can override them. You can change what on-screen display you have. Uh, accessories, there's an there's an enhanced night vision accessory you can get for it. Then obviously this is the, probably the most important thing is the recording mode. Uh, I have it set to always record, but you can uh, obviously change that to don't always, uh, always only motion or record on a schedule and you you can choose a schedule, you can create a new schedule for a time of day and stuff like that. Let me just make sure I don't change this. Okay, and the status gives you a little, little more details on the, wow, it's really coming down here. Uh, give you a little more details on what's going on in terms of uh, network, things like that. And then uh, the IP address the name and the IP address and the port that it's using to uh, connect and communicate with the controller, which is the software. And then you can unmanage it. Like I don't want to be responsible for this camera anymore. Get it off my list and it will go away. It'll go to Amber because the software will still detect it, but obviously it's not under its management. So we'll close that off. And if you click on live feed, Little bit of feedback there. Let me close that off. You can see it's uh, starting to rain here. It's starting to rain pretty badly in the back. It looks actually through the video. It actually looks like pretty calm. But if I look out the window, it's quite the disaster happening back there. Okay. Uh, map. You can upload CAD drawings and place your camera like on a map. So you can drag it and you can place it here, which is kind of cool. This is cool for um, um, this is cool for uh, commercial type installations. Again, if I hit live view, you'll see the back. What's happening? Timeline is pretty cool feature. So it brings up this interface here where you can just sort of click on uh, the date down here and you can say, oh, I wanna go back and look at the, you know, the third or something. And uh, it'll take you back there. Obviously this will go as far back as 
recording allows you to. So let's see, I don't think I have anything here for those dates. Let me just try and select something. Yeah, sorry, it's just taking a while. So let me go back to the third. I don't know if there's any data here. No, that's too far back. So let's go maybe to 17th. So now you can see the time. Uh oh, the power just went out. And the UPS is beeping. Luckily, I have a UPS connected all all throughout the house. I should be able to stay online here. Uh, hopefully, it's not a huge outage. But anyways, you can see uh, brought me back to the 17th, and I can just I can scrub this and scroll, or I can just select the time that I wish to view. So say. Uh, 445. It was uh, raining apparently back then too. Just starting to actually. We can see if we go back here. It's still starting to rain. We can speed this up eight times. Uh, so that's basically that feature. You can take screenshots from down here. You can uh, open up to full screen. If you go to the if you go to the recording, I think the power came back. If you go to the recording section, it's basically just a different uh, type of interface to view the camera uh, recordings here. You can get a little more detailed in terms of time. You can select cameras. You can uh, filter a little bit more. That's pretty much what that's going to do. If you go down to alerts, uh, any system alerts, it will let you know of any users that are uh, allowed to uh, use the systems. And in settings, uh, these are sort of like the main system settings. So if you have a Unify Cloud, that's basically a cloud account, you can set that here. Um, you can sell, you can set the camera password so you can update the passwords on all the cameras. Now, what I mean, I'll I'll get into that in a little a little while, because um, there's the uh, Unify video login and there's also the direct login to the camera. I'll show you that in in a sec. Time zone, uh, minutes between motion emails. If you want to send alerts to yourself, you can uh, set your SMTP credentials here, username and password. Check for updates, blah, 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 blah. You can also turn on different streaming ports uh, for different uh, software to connect as well. Up here though, where you see it says home NVR, if I go into system configuration, this is where you're gonna wanna configure space and uh, a dedicated folder to save all these videos to. You can see here, this is my recording path. And uh, obviously, well, not obviously, but you set this. So I want to just make sure that there's always 20 gigs on that disk free uh, at all times. I don't never want it to fill up. And you can do a uh, check for updates. I'm currently on the latest iteration. And any logs that happen. And you'll notice up here, there's a get support file here to send to support if you're having problems or download configuration. All right, so going back to what I was telling you before here, if I click on the IP address of this camera, then it's gonna take me directly to the camera itself, to the device. And here I'll be able to log in. Um, I need to get this password, one second. I think 
this is UDN team. Yeah, I wanna update that. Pretty please with Sukra on top. All right, so this is the camera directly. So if I log into the camera, you remember that field that says update camera passwords? This is the uh, the password that you're gonna wanna enter here. The default is UBNT on the cameras. I didn't change that. And this is basically the camera direct. And this will just show you, uh, give you a little more control over the device like directly. You can also, the most important thing here, I think, is updating the firmware. So you can upload new firmwares to the camera. I just did this recently, so that's the uh, latest that there is now. And you can also reset the default from here, reboot it. Uh, other than that, not much else that you can't change from the, from the uh, Unify controller. And that's pretty much it. So that's a quick run through of the uh, Ubiquiti NVR and cameras. If you guys have any further questions on this stuff, let me know. Uh, put the comments down in the thing there and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you very much.